do not underrate who you are in Christ. There is something inside of you. Until you take time to refine your gold, you will never see the beauty in the gold. Take your time. Ask yourself, who am I in the Lord? Ask yourself. Do a little research in the word of God about yourself. Running up and down will not solve the problem in this particular generation. Have a connection. Even if you go before a man of God who has the Holy Spirit and prays for you, it's just like lighting your fire for you. If you have no enough oil to sustain the fire, or you have some little fire, but because the fire is so low and so weak, flies and incense are disturbing you, witches and wizards are oppressing you. And when you go, you have fellowship. The fire comes up. When you leave, you need to keep the lamp burning. Amen? You need to sustain that fire so that your altar does not lack fire at any time. Some of us, we go, we go for revival. When the fire is up, we go back to our former life. We quench the fire again. No matter how much you confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, no matter how much you confess Him and confess yourself as a child of the kingdom, as being in the heavenly places with Christ, the place of, of dominion and authority, if your lifestyle does not match what you are confessing, it is a lie. The devil has little respect for what we say, but he has all the respect for what we do as believers. 